Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. All right. Well, as you can see here, probably, I have done a little bit of upgrading on uh, some various facilities here. The tracking station is up to level two. Uh, vehicle assembly building, level two. Of course, I think I did these in the last episode, anyway. But, uh, yeah, I've... Uh, been doing some upgrading. I've been doing a lot of these suborbital spaceflight touristy missions. But uh, I'm thinking that uh, it's probably time to move on a little bit towards a next step-ish kind of thing. So let's start with this and build on it. Let's see... Actually, let's keep the heat shield just for giggles. This isn't going to be a touristy thing. This one is going to be Orbiter 1. Go ahead and save as. And uh, let's throw some science gizmos on here. Ye old science junior. Barometer. Thermometer. And a pair of these. Okay. Yeah. And let's see. Okay, pop that on there like that. Bring them down a little bit, yeah. Just put two batteries on here for a little extra power staying power. I don't imagine I actually need four of those parachutes on that thing, do I? So let's just make it two. I think I can do EVAs now. That would be good. All right. Yeah. Now, um, how's my Delta V? It looks like it's easily enough for orbit. Good thrust to weight ratio, so we're good there. All right. Okay, we have our pilot. And let's see about reaching orbit. I should remember how to do this. It's been a while. And no, I haven't taken a practice run and a test save, which maybe I should have. Oh, I've been busy contract-wise.
lots and lots. In fact, delete them all. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Throttle up. SAS engaged. And maybe this will get my pilot enough XP to uh, level up and get some, uh, like, prograde and retrograde hold. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, go for orbit. Okay. Start. Turn. over a little bit more. Flying like a first timer. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of lower stages down there I need to recover. things don't start overheating and blowing up. Sixty right. something, seventy, eighty kilometers would be good enough. Okay, the overheating is no longer an issue. Pointed in the right direction, sort of, kind of. Let's have a look at, out here. Just nicely got enough delta V for that. All right. There. All right, start burn at 38 seconds. All right, let's see if we can do this. And do it right. Three, two, one, go.
Okay, let's have a look. We can have warp it. How about that? 65 here. All right. Go away. I want to burn radial out. Raise the periaps. Yeah, there we go. And now, should this be a matter? Theoretically simple. There. All right, great. Do that burn in 40 some seconds. Seventy kilometers by a hundred and seven. That bit of circularization wasn't actually needed, I know. But uh, to actually get to an orbit, I need to fly all the way around. How about let's just warp to there? And I never got rid of the unnecessary monopropellant. Because, and I should have, because, hey, no, uh, no whatchamacallits here, no thrusters or anything like that. Okay. Hey, our pilot person has leveled up. Yeah. Prograde and retrograde hold. Excellent. So, Retrograde hold. Turn that thing around. While you're doing that, add a maneuver. Okay. Now I need to get pointed at the node because I've changed things. I'm trying to splash down near the space center. And yes, I'm going to be a little bit late on the start.
All right. Get rid of that. Take a look here. It looks like I should be splashing down near the Space Center. There's a Trajectories mod. It gives me that nice little red trajectory and X that shows me where the touchdown is going to be. Let's see if I can move that just a little bit. A little bit more thrust. And great. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and do the sciencey stuff. Like I almost forgot to do. report. Keep that. Get back on board because re-entry is beginning. And we are on autopilot hold for, well, the autopilot, uh, the pilot. And she's auto because she's doing it all by herself. <laughs> Uh, she's doing this nice little job of keeping things pointed in the right direction. And meanwhile, we don't need young lower stage animals. Could well end up coming down in the water. Okay. Well, I've got my heat shield here. Those doors. Mystery goo is... Okay, it is not at a critical temperature. The heat shield is apparently taking the most of it. Okay, coming down on land now, of course. Hello? Wow. That got zoomed way the heck out. Thermal is not an issue anymore. No engines, so there's no need to worry about a, having to do a suicide burn. Okay.
Yeah. Okay. Now, a little bit of low grade time warp just to get this taken care of, get it done. Watching the altitude over the terrain right there so that I don't make the mistake of watching the sea level altitude and end up crashing although at four meters per second I don't think that's an issue not even for the uh, Science Junior which is generally kind of delicate Cover, see what we get out of this. And of course, this milestone is going to unlock more missions. Alright. Oh, yeah. See, this milestone, there's going to be. Orbital trips showing up on here. Suborbital and then orbit around. See, it's already started. And for each one, each step is 4,800 for that part. And if we complete the overall itinerary, 30,000, well, 29,250. Still. Awesome. So I'll be collecting a bunch of those and flying a bunch of orbital missions. And uh, let's see. I think I should upgrade this. And now I have unlimited mission capability. I can go ahead and take this. And I can go ahead and take all the tourist contracts that are out there. As long as they're not the high G adventures, because I really don't find those to be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, this is good. This is like a license to print money almost. Yeah. Now, what do I got with science here? I need 90 science. I can get one item. And I'm tempted. I'm thinking this. Just sit, this right here. Simply, mainly because of that. The OX stat panels. And the Probotodyne Octo. I'm thinking pretty much that's the way to go. The lights and whatnot will probably come in handy eventually. The Clampatron Juniors. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the electrics. All right, well, in my immediate future, is well currently have 13 active contracts yeah so there's a lot of flying coming up and i'll be working on that building up yon budget and uh, pushing the reputation all the way up and uh, getting ready for the next big milestone which Probably a manned trip out orbiting the moon. The closer of the two, it's called Mune. 
yeah. So, uh, be working on that soon. And sometime soon, probably comm satellites. Because, yeah, that's a thing these days. In any event, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.